What's the Hunger Games song? There it is. <laughs> Where's he going? He's just going back and forth. Jasper the Bird Whisperer. It's Max Major, and this is episode 182 of the vlog. Been an outside of WUSA 9. I have a uh, talk show appearance this morning, and I am late, so I'm gonna get inside. Camille's here. Camille works for the PR firm that uh, promotes the events at the Howard Theater, and uh, she lined up this appearance yes, today. Yes, and it's so. going to be amazing. Yeah. Like yesterday. So we're just waiting now for our turn. I am the closer today, uh, so I'll be waiting around for about the next half hour, and then it's time to go on and blow some minds. Read minds. I'm like, show me what you can do. I you want to see, see something? this. Yeah. Yes. Oh, how about I try something with you? And so I wanted to try this because I couldn't eat a light bulb today. I did want to show you something with my body because part of what I do, it's about my understanding of the mind. That's what we okay. just did. Okay. The other piece of it is about my understanding of the body, and that's what this exploits. Okay. So here's what we'll do. Piece of thread. I'm going to eat it. Not as impressive as a light bulb, but watch what happens next. Okay. I don't know where that's going to come out. It's <laughs> fiber. Go. Here we oh, go. Please don't. No, 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 please don't do that. No! Ah! That's coming out of his eye. Ow! Oh. oh, no. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I wish I was comfortable. Really? Oh, she could do this. Yeah, here, come here. Go. Hey, he's crying. He's crying. Ah! Ah! Ow, oh, that was awesome. Congratulations. Wow, that's brilliant. Thank you so much, Cool, Matt. you got it. You okay, later. yeah, here, I'll give Bye. you a All right, Bye. thanks for the booking. See you at the show, hopefully. See ya. Bye. I'll text you and let you know. So that went really well. I almost like couldn't get out of there this morning. Like all of the staff surrounded me and uh, had me unlocking their cell phones and guessing their passwords. And uh, that was a lot of fun, uh, but I've got to get on the road. Uh, Emiliano and I are going back down to Lloyd Irving's MMA Academy today um, to just finalize some details for the TV shoot next week. And uh, also to interview the fighters a little bit and understand a little bit more about their world and their mindset. on the show. I'm a hypnotist and my interest in MMA is the mental side of the game. Two guys go in the ring, assume you're the same weight, assume you're both training hard. What, what separates the two of you? You both, you know, train for 20 years, have the same technique, whatever it is. It's that edge, right? It's that intangible thing. It's what's going on up here. It's what state of mind you're in that day, what state of mind you're in while you're training. That's what I'm fascinated by. There's lots of different um, mental struggles and strains that people have to go through. Also, if you depend on who your opponent is, if your opponent is a beast and has all knockouts or all submissions and you, you get to fight them, and you know, there's a lot of different mental things that go on depending on different athletes. Right. One of the things, if, if you're focusing on your competitor, you said he's a beast. What happens in that situation is you're focusing on what he's capable of, right. and the second you start focusing on what someone else is capable of, you forget what you're capable of. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the reason that like mind games and psyching someone out works at some level. And so we're gonna 
come back and do like a more formal kind of like workshop next week. But today what I wanted to find out was just kind of talk to you guys a little bit and, and hear about that side of being a fighter. Um, and then that'll give me some time before I come back next week to frame what I do. I look like I just went a few rounds with an MMA fighter. My hair at least, not my face. <laughs> not my face. Uh, back home from Lloyd Irving's uh, memory card filled up while we were there, uh, so didn't really get to close out. Um, today was incredible. Part of what we're doing there is to get a better understanding of a fighter's mindset, but also how much sort of mental performance affects athletic performance. And uh, now this evening, I've got a huge, huge show at a corporate event. Derek's on his way over, and tomorrow, uh, the Howard Theater. Jasper's here. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's go, man, I've been waiting on you. We're gonna go back that way. I see you eyeing that hot sausage. I am. Sabare. This guy's appetite's insatiable. Okay, we're on a very, very tight schedule right now, so I'll check in with you guys after we get set up. So I'm about to go on stage, and I've had to pee for about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half, she's like, we're just about to start. Do I have time to go to the bathroom? I really would love to do a mom on one go. Here to entertain us tonight, please welcome Max 